Hello, party people on the internet. Omega Investments back at you again. We got a quick video for you, my friends. A little tour of the studio. I'll show you what's going on. We got background video going of the new derivative DVD that I made. Derivative, making DVDs all day. Electromagnetic radiation. Derivative is the band. Lou is back. Welcome back, Lou, my friend. We made it and broke this DVD player the other day. DVD JXs are very rare. It won't load. Broke the loading deck. I'm gonna blame Lou because of the CD scribbly handouts and it just ejects and says no disc, which is better because it was starting to eat up the discs and mess up the thing. Anyway, got the three DVD players and the CD player going. We're gonna get the two more from eBay that we just got. I will say Lou lucky timing and it's just chaos on top of the sink, on top of the oven on top of spaghetti, on top of whatever. DVDs everywhere because I DJ with these DVDs and mix stuff like Will Ferrell's Greatest Hits and more of the EMR. That is what I do not want to do ever. Hopefully I did not damage Machete Kills, which I haven't used yet. We got DVDs burning right now. And this is what broke the DVD player right here. The old school, we made the derivative DVD. And Lou's got the OG scribbly handouts. Shout out to Lou. Lou's back. Derivative of Heaven of Hell. Best album we ever did. You don't know about it. You will soon. But the scribbly handouts with the sticker, as you can see, it went in the CD player. And abrasions, because you're not supposed to put a sticker on a CD. Don't ever put stickers on CDs. Messing all my ish up. I'm going to blame Lou on that one. Got the background music. Gonna make this a quick video, three minutes or so. So we got DVDs on top of chairs, art chairs hanging out without DVDs on them, surprisingly. DVDs all over the place so we can DJ with the DVDs. The little studio burning the DVDs as we speak. Come around back here, speaker sidecar. Charlie got his speaker. More DVDs hanging out on art chairs so we could DJ. Gotta set this up more efficiently. The couch. Should be ready for lounging and sleeping, but we got the used guitar somebody gave me for free, the old Ederol mixer, and DVDs galore just lounging about. Now I want to tell you what really sucks. You see these cabinets filled with DVDs. I can't even use them because this DVD DJ mixer locks up if you have copy protection on any of your DVDs, so I now have to bootleg all the DVDs that I actually bought, which is a frustrating mess. Anyway, Lou's back. Shout out to Lou. We're burning the derivative DVDs as we speak. The factory is going. One's done. We'll make another copy of the new derivative DVD that we made to celebrate Lou coming back. Welcome back, Lou. He was deported to the Philippines. He's back. I'm psyched. We're making DVDs all day. Also want to shout out collaboration with Foyo Games. If you want to buy some games and some crazy stuff, I've been hoarding an entire game store in my house for a while. The physical store will not get open, but Foyo Games will be handling distribution of all random things shortly and surely. My old roommate, Paris Bach as a kid, Sebastian Bach's son, and this was his room where he used to bang his girlfriend, and there's no banging of the girlfriends done in this room anymore, because his entire hoarded game store stacked to the ceiling with stuff. Foyo Games, help me start flipping all those stuff. We got like 11 copies of Crossfire, limited edition from the Toys R Us because they don't make that anymore, next to the freaking knockoff art clock just hanging out. Sega CD, collecting dust, which you know. Anyway, DVDs, CDs galore. This is how we roll, this is how we party. Unpacking, we'll say, Paris Bach, what up buddy? Where you been, man? He's freaking drumming in a band somewhere. Amazon Women on the Moon, that's a good one. Wacky packages, we gotta open later. These, I opened a few of these. We're about to open up chapter two right now. These more than doubled in value in like two months. So whoever wasn't listening out there should have listened. And I should have opened up less of these. I didn't even hit the deadlines or whatever. I don't know how that NFT stuff works, but doubled in price. So I'm good at this stupid buying boxes of stupid stuff and it going up in price. Collaboration with Foyo Games coming, flipping stuff. We'll give you details on the exact store. 
We'll be selling stuff soon. Looking forward to it. Everyone, have a blessed, awesome day. Be well. Be awesome. We'll see you soon. Oh, I want to give you one more warning. The mice. Watch out for the mice. This game, Cult. This is so rare, it just doesn't exist. And I think a mouse jumped in and ate into my freaking. I have a mouse problem. The other one looks safe. Cult Inferno looks safe. This is so rare. Dude, this was like an RPG and some kids in Sweden freaking committed suicide after playing the RPG because that stuff is so crazy. Speaking of the mice, we're gonna end you on a weird one. My weird background beats in the background. So the mice, my art back there, and then the fossilized mouse. On my box of CDs as a warning to all the other mice. Fuck around and find out. Because I hate Mises to pieces! Stop eating up my stuff. Got them on the ping CDs. Everyone have a wonderful day. Be well, be blessed, be awesome. We'll see you soon. Peace.